Myrtle! Myrtle! Okay, well Myrtle's not... Oh, there she goes. Myrtle, you want to show everybody your maters? Alright, so here's Myrtle's mater garden. And this is the old gate that I dragged over from the barn. And I planted cucumbers up underneath it. And they have popped out the other side, just like I planned. Then I have a border of sunflowers and basil and marigold. The cherry tomato plants, and they're not all cherry tomato plants, they kind of blend in with the marigolds um, that I've planted in here. I intended on doing a Florida weave with these. I'm not quite sure if that's going to stay that way, if I can come across some more fencing. I think I might cage them because... Those are some serious cherry tomato plants. And along the edges and tucked everywhere are nasturtium and marigold. Then I have my pepper pyramid, but on a bigger scale. And they are doing really good too. And some basil everywhere. And actually this basil I started over in Beyonce's place. Um, but after realizing I had started and was growing way too much basil, I moved it to where it would be more benefit. Then we have our Roma tomatoes. Which are doing really good. And then we have our bigger tomatoes. That's a four ounce. And I have, oh, I don't know, I think like six, about six of those. And I'm having the most trouble though with the big boy tomatoes. Um, no trouble at all though with the cherry tomatoes. And then I added this raised bed to the end and I have some things I still need to stick in there as you can tell. Which is rosemary which I'm determined to be able to grow from seed. More Roma tomatoes in the back. The sage, which I'm super impressed with how it's doing. Some hot peppers. And all different types of herbs. And the sunflowers will eventually grow up through that syrup wheel. And I'll use the syrup wheel as kind of support for them. It'll also help shade the plants around it a little bit. That's Myrtle's maters. Myrtle! Myrtle! Myrtle's enjoying some fresh hay and some sweet feed. 